Hello, Hello mga loves. Welcome back to our channel where we share our life as Filipinos living in America. We have an announcement. We're building a home. New homes. So stay tuned because we will be sharing five tips when buying a home on a visa in America. Competition is tough for pre-built homes, so we've decided to take our patients to the next level. We are building a home from ground up, and the waiting game has begun. From what we know, there were three kinds of new home construction. Custom homes, semi-custom homes, and the spec homes. Custom homes are ideal for people who have a vision and knows exactly what they want in their homes. The semi-custom homes, home builders have different floor plans, then you just have to choose and customize the rest of the house. The spec homes, or also known as the speculative homes, are move-in ready home built by home builders. They were built before a home buyer makes a purchase. And we are building a semi-custom homes from KB Homes. We chose among different floor plans from our builder, and we upgraded interiors at an extra cost. Based on our experience, here are our tips as you start your home build journey. Number one, pre-qualification for a home loan. If you're not offering cash, then that means you will need to have a pre-qualification first so that you will know how much you can afford based from your assets, income, and expenses. Our second tip is to find a realtor or a real estate agent. They have the knowledge of the local market trends, home listings, sales data. They are certified and knowledgeable about local, state, and national estate laws and practices. A realtor represents you, the buyer. They have the resources, the negotiation skills, and the expert in managing transactions. Go. A realtor was recommended by our friend who's been successful in buying homes too. And she's like a family to us, like our Tita. <laughs> our third tip, visit the site. We have to physically see and experience the home and the site where we are going to build our home before purchasing it. So check its area. We prioritize its accessibility to the city and our workplace. So see and experience the floor plan in their model homes and just keep in mind that model homes have upgraded interior. Make sure you ask what is included in that price or what are the options in that price. So you have an idea of what's included with the given price. Our fourth tip is to pay the earnest money. Or also known as your good faith deposit. This would show how serious you are about purchasing a home. It is refundable for our part within a period of time. Ask the builder's agent where are the advantages if you get the recommended lender. We want the communication to be as smooth as possible so that they could have that communication within their company. And so far, it has been well. Yeah. Fifth tip, wait for initial approval, then conditional approval. There were exchanges of documents among our home builder, our lender, and us. It was a time of uploading documents, sending documents for e-signing, writing explanation letter, and etc. It took time to settle this process. 
Make sure that you have all of your documents, including a copy of your visa, bank statements, and also your pay stub. Yeah. It was a long process until that day when our processor emailed us and congratulated us for we have been approved conditionally. conditionally. Then our builders started to apply for our permits, our building permits, and complete other documents to the government. All of this process was done for about mm, two months. Again, we are not real estate agents and we just want to share our home build journey to you who are on the same journey as ours. Let us know in the comment section if you have questions about our first part of building a home. So keep on the count of our next episode of our home build journey as we share our design home studio experience. So click that notification bell if you haven't. Thank you for being with us and have an awesome day. Thank you my loves. See you soon.